I showed in a previous video why 2 to the negative 1 actually equals 1 over 2 to the 1. Or, for example, 2 to the negative 5 is the same thing as 1 over 2 to the 5. Let's see this in practice, though. And what does it mean when a question asks us to simplify an expression by creating all positive exponents? Well, as an example, let's say we have c to the negative 4 times b cubed divided by b to the fourth times c squared. And the question asks us to simplify this, but to only use positive exponents. So we have to do something with the c to the negative fourth. Well, we know from our rules that c to the negative fourth is just 1 over c to the fourth, which means all we have to do is stick it into the denominator if it were in the numerator. So we're going to keep the rest of it as it was. And then in the numerator, it just becomes a 1 because it's 1 over that. And then we have this as our answer. Now, that's not simplified because we can combine the c's with the exponents in the denominator to c in our, in our rule there is that becomes c to the 4 plus 2. So that's c to the 6th times b to the 4th. Are we done? Not quite yet. We still have to simplify because this b cubed can cancel out with this b to the fourth and become 1 in the numerator and just b in the denominator. Okay, and then if we put our b's first, we end up with 1 over b times c to the sixth. And again, the reason the b cubed canceled out with the b to the fourth is because we're really just subtracting there and we only have, we have b to the 0 left in the top with b to the 1 left in the bottom. I'll even show you that. Okay?